I'm talking with Dr. Jadine Anderson, who is a chiropractor. Dr. Anderson, many of us like to crack our knuckles, crack our neck back into place. Do you recommend self-adjustment? I don't personally <laughs> recommend self-adjusting. Sometimes what happens when you are, are self-adjusting, you're actually moving bones or, or causing the, uh, the sounds within joints that are healthy and don't need to be adjusted. It's usually the areas that uh, need to be adjusted that aren't being adjusted when you're, when you're twisting your neck or your back and you're, and you're self-adjusting. And sometimes when you do that, over a prolonged period of time, you're actually causing some problems within the areas that you are getting to, uh, to crack or, or move. And in the case of cracking knuckles, sometimes people just do that out of habit, right? Mm -hmm. In the in the same case with uh, with your fingers, uh, it's it's not as as big of a problem, but uh, I would recommend trying not to do it as as much as possible. If self adjustment is not wise, why does it feel so good when we do it? The reason that there that uh, the person feels that the self adjusting is is helping is because whenever there's uh, the actual the cracking noise or the movement of a bone, there are actually uh, hormones or chemical releases that uh, tell the body that feels good. But when that occurs, it's only short-lived, as opposed to getting an adjustment in the right spot at the right time, is has a longer duration of uh, the feeling good. Mm -hmm. and, and that's why it's, it's really hard for someone that does it on, a, on occasion to slowly stop because it does feel good, but it but it's only... it's superficial, is that what you're saying? Yes. It's not a deep adjustment? Right. Okay, but momentarily it will feel good. Yes. So stop doing it? I would, I would recommend it as much as possible. Oh, thank you, Dr. Anderson.